Ponsonby, this is my big day. My plans are complete. This afternoon, I shall address the British Fruit Association at the Bilberry Hall, and I shall surprise them. And then after that, I shall drive down to Hampshire, where my boss, CJ, is holding a trout fishing competition in what is laughingly known as his country estate, and I shall give him a surprise as well. <laughs> Think that's a good idea? Yes, I thought you would. <laughs> and then I shall drive off into the rays of the setting sun, and Reginald uh, Lanthi Perrin will be seen no more. So you be a good earwig, all right? I tell you, yeah, all right, all right, I know, you're not an earwig, you're a cat, yes, all right, all right, what's it matter? <laughs> <laughs> yes. what's, what's it matter in a name? Why it's so boring to call things by the same name all the time? You see, secretly, Ponsonby, I think of my boss, CJ, as a toothbrush. <laughs> and you can't be frightened of them, but I don't tell anyone because they, they don't understand. It's the same with my mother-in-law. I always think of her. Well, <laughs> you see? <laughs> but I don't tell you. Now, you be a good boy and take care of your mistress because she's going to be very upset when I... Ah, you know, oh, there you are, darling. Just having a, just having a little chat to Ponsonby. Thank you very much. You seem rather on edge this morning, uh, Reggie. Are you nervous about your No, speech? no, no, I'm all right, darling. I just got a bit of an earwig, that's all. <laughs> uh, sorry, no, headache, headache. <laughs> What uh, time should I arrive at the hall for the lunch? Oh, about half past parsnips. <laughs> oh, sorry, darling, twelve, twelve, half past twelve. Yes, but where do parsnips come in? Uh, yes, I, I just remembered CJ asked me if I could possibly get hold of a, hold of a few parsnips for him. What earth does he want parsnips for? <coughs> he didn't say. <laughs> well, I, I think we Oh, well, good, them. good. Thanks very much. Just a couple, darling. We don't want too many, otherwise... Uh, oh, this won't do at all. I really must concentrate. I've got some very important things to say. Ponsonby, are you listening? I'm about to divest myself of the accumulated wisdom of my 46 years. Mustn't use the wrong parsnips. <laughs> wrong words, the wrong words. I must behave myself. You don't understand a word of this, do you? <laughs> and you know why, Ponsonby? Because you're thick, that's why. <laughs> Couldn't even get an old level in meowing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. With George. I'm awfully sorry, but I do. I'm, I'm... Oh, there you are, darling. Yes, well, I'd better be off, yes. Time and motion. Wait for no man. Uh, Bye-bye, Ponsonby. Remember what I said. Oh, there you are. Umbrella. Thank you, darling. Briefcase. Thank you, darling. Parsnips. Thank you. What? Parsnips? Oh, you said CJ wanted some parsnips. Oh, yes, yes, those parsnips, yes. Oh, mm. what on earth's that on your tie? Oh, damn, would it? Oh, that. Oh, that's, that's, the, that's the symbol of the British Fruit Association, darling. Yes. <laughs> Two apples and a banana. <laughs> I think it's rather unfortunate. Mm. <laughs> it's rather appropriate. Well, well, don't be nervous about your speech, darling. Yeah. I'll be there lending you moral support. All right, thank you. Bye, darling. See you at the year week. <laughs> How marvellous. Last time I shall ever have to travel on this bloody train. Last time I shall ever have to look at these stupid faces. And the last time I shall have to listen to Peter Cartwright's hay fever. <laughs> Bless you. You haven't any... Tissues, Harry Reggie. Ursula's forgotten mine. No, the tissues, Harry Reggie. <laughs> Ursula's forgotten mine. Uh, no, sorry, please, I haven't. No. Uh, you can use my programme for the Fruit Association of Bilbury Hall, if you like. Will you be needing that again? <laughs> Morning, Joe. Morning, Mr. Perry. Eleven minutes late. Somebody had stolen the lines at Serpentum. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'll clear my desk, Joe. Good idea. That shouldn't take long. No, it shouldn't. <laughs> it didn't. Is that wise? No. Nope. How's your speech, 
Coach coming along, Mr. Uh, Taylor. Fine, wonderful, Joe. Very, very good indeed. Thank well, you. I'm yes. sure you're going to give a wonderful performance. Yes, sir, no, it's going to be very good indeed. Yes, not that anybody listen to it, of course. Yes, I often have the impression that nobody listens to a single word I say. In fact, I often wonder if my voice is actually audible to anyone except myself. Keep out! You see what I mean? <laughs> morning, David. Morning, Tony. I'm sorry I haven't got time to discuss the exotic ISIS project this morning. I have my speech to prepare. I have far more important things on my mind than mango delight, big surprise, strawberry and eerie gribble. All right? That's why we came. Uh, Just to wish you good luck for your speech. Not feeling nervous, I hope. No, not feeling nervous. Great. No. Super. Good. Public terrors have no speaking for me. Great. <laughs> Super. Yes, yes, I think I have one or two important points to make. Great. Super. Uh, <laughs> Sitting in the front row. Lending moral support. Great. Super. Well, you must be. <laughs> good luck. With you. Good luck. Reggie, good luck. I'm sure you're going to give a wonderful speech, Mr. Barrett. You could impress that lot standing on your head. <laughs> and in conclusion, may I say? <laughs> I don't think that'd be a very good idea, Joe. Now, get lost! Uh, morning, Sophie. <laughs> morning, Reggie. Morning, Joan. Well, I just looked in to wish you luck with your speech. Oh, thank you, Sir James. I have every confidence in you, every confidence. Will it be any good? I think I may cause a few surprises, Sir James. Not, not too many, I hope. Just a little stimulus, nothing too extreme, but there's no need to be nervous. I shall be sitting in the front row rooting for you. Oh, thank you, Sir Jane. If you do feel nervous, just look down and you'll see my face. Yeah. <laughs> That's very thoughtful of you, Sir Jane. Well, I won't waste any more of your valuable time. Right, Sir Jane. Well, Reggie, nice office you have here? Yes, yes, very nice, Sir Jane, yes. Nice view. Yes, yes, yes. I've always had a soft spot for the gasworks and the marshalling yard, yes. <laughs> yes, my only regret is that the smog from the asbestos recycling plant does tend to obscure the abattoir, but there we are. <laughs> Yes. Well, now, where was I? Hey, you weren't going to take up any more of my valuable time, Sir Joe. Right, you want to get on? Well, Joe, what's it like to have Reggie for a boss, eh? Incredible, CJ. Uh, there you are, Reggie, straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I mustn't waste any more of your valuable time. Right, CJ. Well, good luck, Reggie. Here we go, CJ. Here we go. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, thank you, Sir Joe. No, no, I said here we go instead of thank you. Sorry. Careful, Reggie. I didn't get what I am today by saying yeah, we can instead of thank you. Yes, sorry, just a slip of the past lips. <laughs> yes, well. <laughs> make sure that sort of thing yes. doesn't happen to Bilbury Hall this afternoon. Yes, past lips? Uh, yeah, sorry, yeah, that was but, another slip of the past the, the tongue. <laughs> Reggie, I hope I haven't made a mistake in getting you to make this speech. Of course not, CJ. Uh, if you do feel nervous, Reggie, take a tip from me. Have a little champagne, not too much, just enough. I didn't get where I am today without having a little champagne, not too much, just enough. <laughs> hey, Joe! Oh, certainly not, CJ. Yes, well, I won't waste any more of your valuable time. All right, CJ. Mm. Right. I didn't get where I am today without being glad when CJ leaves the room. Richard! <laughs> I have every confidence in you. We aren't one of those dreadful firms that believe a man's ideas are old-fashioned and out of date just because he's 46. Goodbye, Richard. Uh, <laughs> Joan, I have a very urgent appointment. I'm going out. Where? Anywhere. <laughs> Joan. Joan, we, um... We may never see each other again. What? Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, I was just thinking how awful it would be if we, if we never saw each other again. Oh, yes, it would. So, um... So, but, of course, we will we'll see each, each other. We, we, we may see each other on, on, on Monday morning. So, uh, uh, so until Monday morning, uh, the very best wishes for your future. And, uh, <laughs> Goodbye. And, and good luck. Well, you are talking as if you'll never see me. No, good heavens, no. I'll see you on Monday morning at the usual um, uh, 11 minutes late. Have a, have a nice weekend, Joan. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Perrin. And good luck with your speech. Thank you, Joan. Yeah. Uh, Joan, I, I meant what I said just now. I really value the, 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 the eight years friendship and support you've given me. And as we probably won't ever see each other again until Monday, <laughs> take care of yourself. Goodbye, Joan. <laughs> oh, oh, just a minute. I'm just doing some confidential tests. Uh, I've, uh, I've come in. Uh, oh, Reggie. Oh, come in and sit down. Thank you. Oh, CJ's made me come and listen to your speech this afternoon. I should be sitting in the front row, so there's no need to feel nervous. Right. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, I, I want something, Doc. I feel nervous. Oh, so do I. Yeah. It's horrible, isn't yeah. it? I've got to go to CJ's fishing contest. Yes, I just want something to give me a feeling of confidence for a couple of hours. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. Yeah. Just... He asked me if I'd ever done any fishing, and stupidly I said I dabbled. 
Oh, what fools we are. Dabbled. Oh, once dangled a bit of string over, over a boat in the Isle of Man, once when I was a Boy Scout. Caught one very dead Felicity you keep up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anything at all, Doc. A couple of pills, you know. <laughs> Just something that won't be noticed, yeah. of course, or make me slur my speech or, or get overexcited Just or anything. All CJ's and, and, young and, and, hopefuls will be there, uh, literally uh, angling for promotion. Yes. Yes. Uh, have, you, have you got anything at all you can recommend? I should probably fall in. No. Just a yes. couple of... They'll all catch hundreds of fish. I shall catch bronchitis and CJ's <laughs> running for a chance to fire me. He uh, hates me, Reggie. Yeah. What do you think I ought to do? I think perhaps you ought to take something to soothe your nerves, Doc. Oh, good idea. What? Um, no, uh... <laughs> oh, they sound pretty good. Uh, uh, what, what are they? Oh, it's he hexa... No, it's a long word I can't pronounce. Uh, it says, ideal for nervous stability and lack of self-confidence, particularly suitable for nervous fishermen. Oh, it doesn't say that. Uh, <laughs> no, take, uh, take two or three times daily in water. Do not mix with alcohol. Sounds I see good. they sound yeah. marvellous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. thank you, Reggie. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I wonder what they are. <laughs> no, thank you very much for your help, Doc. Oh, any time? Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, there you are. Uh, uh, Reggie Perrin. Sorry I'm late. That's <laughs> uh, quite all right. Uh, Sit you down. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name's Hump, by the way. Oh, bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you some wine. Uh, Dutch curry. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm lecturer in the philosophy of fruit at the University of <coughs> Budley Salterton. Well, never mind. <laughs> Don't think too much. All right, darling, I'm not a fool. <laughs> <laughs> May I introduce the chairman of the seminar, Mr. Eldon uh, Watkins? Yeah, uh, Watkins. Do do? Do. Uh, Mr. Watkins mm. is chief scientific advisor to the Bridge End College of Pesticides. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> well, we thought we'd lost you. Mm. Uh, let me fill you up. Oh, yeah. Dutch courage. <laughs> oh, you missed a very interesting little talk from Dr. Hump this morning. He, he touched mainly on the role of fruit puddings oh. in a competitive society. Oh. And I, his his uh, thesis, in a nutshell, was that fruit puddings should not be, indeed cannot be, less or indeed more competitive than the society for which, and indeed by which, they are produced. Oh. <laughs> now that is uninteresting. <laughs> Somebody kick me, what's the name? It, it, it was me. Uh, don't drink too much. That's all right, well don't kick me, darling. I'm looking forward to your talk. Oh yes, oh my. Yeah, that makes three of us, good. Yeah. good. <laughs> Would you mind passing me the earwig, please? I, I beg your pardon. Well, when I say the earwig, I mean the wine, of oh. course. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rocky. Darling, do watch it. You stop this. He's at it again. <laughs> uh, welcome, we welcome, welcome back. Uh, now, if we can concentrate after our lunch, <laughs> we come to what will undoubtedly be the high spot, the undoubted high spot of this afternoon's talk. I refer, of course, uh, to none other than... Um, <laughs> to none other than uh, the, to, to none other than our first speaker this afternoon <laughs> is indeed a household name to many of us, uh, indeed if not more. And uh, his subject this afternoon is uh, uh, his subject uh, his subject his subject is the subject for which he is a household name to many of us, <laughs> if not more. In fact, he needs no introduction from me, so here he is. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, thank you, Mr. whatever your name is. <laughs> <laughs> when my boss said to me, Reginald Dialanthe Perrin, you're a senior sales earwig at Sunshine Desserts, and they're holding a seminar about fruit and instant puddings at Bilberry Hall. I want you to talk on are we getting our just dessert. My first thought was, what a pathetic title for a talk. <laughs> uh, and I thought again. And my second thought was, what a pathetic title for a talk. <laughs> well, I come here anyway because I have something very important to say to you. We are told that we need more growth. 60% PR. 60% PR. <laughs> more chemicals to cure more pollution caused by more chemicals. More car parks for more tourists who want to get away from more car parks. More food 
and make us more fat, and make us use more slimming aids, and make us take more pills, and make us ill, and make us make more pills, and make more profits. More, more, more boring speakers, making more boring speeches, more boring conferences. This is rubbish. More, that's, that's right, more rubbish. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a very good point, Ham. More rubbish, slang around every time. But what has all this growth done for me? I'll tell you. One day I'll die, and on my grave will say, Elias Reginald Alanthe Perrin. He didn't know the names of the trees and the flowers, but he knew the rhubarb crumble sales figures for Schleswig Holstein. <laughs> you know, look out, sir. Those trees, eh? Beautiful. But soon they'll all be cut down to make more underground park arcs. <laughs> <laughs> I have got good news for you. They've lost half. The parking meters in London have got Dutch parking meter disease. <laughs> oh, she'd stick to the point. I didn't get where I am today talking about Dutch parking meter disease. Uh, uh, right. uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in the audience here, my boss, a toothbrush. Let's uh, uh, <laughs> have a big hand for CJ. Uh, that's, that's enough. Ladies and gentlemen, as if we become what we do, you show me a hero who makes fondue tongues, and I will show you a happy man who earns his living perforating lavatory paper. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, do, what do you believe in, I hear you ask? D do I, do I hear you ask? No, I don't hear you, but I tell you anyway. I know that I don't know, you see? I believe in not believing. You see, for every man who believes something, there's somebody who believes the opposite. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> now, how many wars, how many wars would have been fought? How many people would have been tortured if nobody had ever believed in anything? <laughs> I've never heard, have you ever heard of the wars of the apathetic or the persecution of, of, of the... Of, of the, by the, by the, by the, by the... <laughs> the persecution of the apathetic by the bone idol? I think we've heard enough of this. But... I'm sorry. <laughs> but if... Yeah, but, but if we try and complain about this, we are told you're standing in the way of progress. Progress? There's a word that begs the pardon. Uh, I beg your pardon. No, I beg, beg your pardon. It doesn't beg the pardon. It begs the question. I think he's drunk. Uh, uh, <laughs> funny, so am I. <laughs> so, and then, oh, there you go. Oh, Doc Morrissey. <laughs> so the wizard of the aspirin. <laughs> oh, off to the bog, because he's frightened of CJ's fishing contest. He's gone to practice his flies. <laughs> Get rid of him, Watkins. Oh, Baldy Hump here. Oh, Baldy Hump. Here he's bald, don't you mean a right cock up? <laughs> hey, he put pesticide on his hair, hair restore on his plums. Now he's as bald as a cook got a garden full of hairy plums. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Win, win them back to my side. Win them back to this. Anybody here from Canada? Anybody here from Australia? Tarpoli? Anybody here from Tarpoli? Stand up, those from Tarpoli. Shake hands with the person on the right. Come on, Ben. I didn't get where I am today, no. shaking hands with the person on no, my right. CJ, you see, I, I want to help you, CJ. You see, I, I, what use is life if it isn't for those people who have to live it? Oh, God, here he comes, oh, the old baldy ham. Uh, lecturer in applied manure at the University of Steeple Bumstead. <laughs> Let your hands off. Oh, thank you. Get thank off. you for a very stimulating address. No, baldy! <laughs> that, that, should, uh, that should cause something oh, to be done. Thank right you. Thank you. Thank you. Very much, Mr. Uh, for a most stimulating address. Oh, tell me that, tell me that. Fair dues, he didn't call you baldy. I'm not bald. <laughs> very depressed, aren't you? You didn't even wince when I crashed the gears. Oh, I had so much to say to them. You were nervous, that's all. I was drunk. I... I... used the wrong words. I insulted Dr. Hump. I, I even asked if there was anyone there from Tarpoli. There wasn't. Yes, but... Nobody. Uh, is that to be my life's message? Is there anybody there from Tarpoli? Oh, never mind, Reggie. I love you. Yes, and I love you too, darling. I, I must just pop out to the to the gents. Right, darling. Look, look after yourself, won't you? Take care and, and, and try not to think too unkindly of me. Uh, Reggie, how long are you going to be? Uh, about a minute. <laughs> <laughs>
Come in. Oh, it's all right, Bill. It's only me, Mr. Perry. Oh, what are you still here for, Mr. Perry? <laughs> Oh, there's been an emergency, Bill. A uh, uh, consignment of Loganbury essence has to, uh, has to go off to Hamburg. The ship has to sail from Southampton first thing in the morning, so I've got to load a lorry up tonight and drive it down there myself. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bell, but I haven't got the authority to let you out of the lorry. Look, I tell you what, I've got, I've got a, a PXL2 here. Double check through the computer. Here. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bell. Computer? Yes. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes, well, that all seems to be in order, Mr. Bell. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, I had to be so careful. Not at all, Bill. Only doing your job quite right. For all you and I might be going balmy. Balmy. <laughs> good of you to see it that not way, Mr. Bell. Not at all, Not at all. No, thank you. Not at all. No, sir. No, it's very good. Oh, all right. Yes, sir. Keys. Oh, the keys. Yes, thank you. Right, thank you, Bill. Thanks. Yes, a nice slice of tea. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I didn't get where I am today, CJ, without posting furtive letters through your front door. <laughs> public property and should not be in private hands. The fish are not yours to kill, nor are your employees. Possessions bring misery. Absolute possessions bring absolute misery. P.S. Blood will flow. <laughs> oh, some crank. Uh, I didn't get where I am today without getting letters from cranks. Oh, wait a minute, though. I didn't get where I am today without making enemies. Hmm. Blood will flow. <laughs> All right, Tony. David? Great. Super, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> You're witnessing history, gentle bovine friends, if you did but know it. Mm. You're witnessing the world's first ever Loganbury slip. <laughs> The river's turning red. My God, it's blood. Oh, it doesn't look like blood to me. It doesn't smell like it either. It's too sweet. Look, I'm a doctor. I should know blood when I see it. My God! Blood! Blood will flow! <laughs> There's a maniac murdering all my guests! Oh, my God! One of my enemies! I've been too ruthless! Blood! Blood! Oh. Ah! CJ! Hit his head on a stone, it may just be concussion. Let me through, let me through. 
I'm a doctor. Thank <laughs> <laughs> My God, he's dead. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Why not really end it all? Prove once and for all I'm not a fraud. Just walk out to sea with my hands raised above my head. Walk on until only the fingers are visible. A last defiant gesture to a hostile world. <laughs> 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 Goodbye, Reggie's clothes. Goodbye, old Reggie. Hello, new life. Need a new name. Alistair McTavish. <laughs> Lionel Penfold. No. Cedric de Vere Fitzpatrick Thornycroft. Is that right? <laughs> Charles Bridport, Arthur Dorchester. No. Timothy Lime Regis. No. Vernon Signpost? No. Which way lies paradise? I must be decisive in my new life. I... I will go to the... Right. Jeffrey <laughs> Hedge, Austin Copps, no. Ronnie Road, Lenny Lane. Uh, Nathaniel Bike, no. <laughs> Colin Gate, no. Uh, Colin, no. Uh, Colin, Colin what? Colin, uh, Colin what? No, no, no. Colin, what? Colin, the first thing I see when I look over the gate. Colin Cowpat. Colin Parsnips, Colin. Ah, ah, ah. 